Welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk, episode 82. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, and I'm joined by my co-host, Noelle Winters Herzog. Just me. Noelle, thank you so much for being here today. We are talking about Teen Mom 2, season 9, episode 6. It's called Cry It Out. Tracy, did you say we're on episode 80-something? 82. 82. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, it's been over a year. And I can't believe it. I know. This is really wow. crazy. Uh, yeah. So much Teen Mom. What do you think? Like, do you so, think Teen Mom will ever end, honestly? Okay. Honestly, if OG comes back, no. I don't think it's ever going to end because there is just no more storyline on there. And if they can find one, then this is never ending. I know. You know what? I You know what I kind of hope? And someone else has kind of, like, talked about this, too. Uh-huh. I was thinking about, like... What if they took like everyone who was uh, not just the favorites, but like with the most drama and just combined it into one? I mean, I think that that would be pretty cool if they did that. Like, you know, Kale and Janelle Mm -hmm. and Amber. Right. You know, right. And like Bristol on a show. Even though Bristol is no drama, I just think it would be like funky to have them all Yeah, like, like cut off like no offense, Chelsea. Right. There's no more story there. Right. Macy has a little there's bit really, of a story because Ryan. There's not much with Leah, really. Oh, well, you know what? You know? Maybe there might be with Leah. We got to see. Uh, guys, we're talking about season nine, episode six, Cry It Out. Stella needs emergency surgery. Leah approaches her breaking point with Jeremy over Addy. Chelsea and Cole bring Lane home. Janelle struggles with David's absence on the show. Kaylin starts planning her sister's baby shower. So we have a whole bunch. We're going to okay. start with Chelsea. Um, okay, we could do that. Um, did you notice how earth toned her house is? I hate it. It is the most boring house I have ever seen in my life. Like, I thought I was boring for having, like, a chocolate brown couch because I never wanted a brown couch in my life. But, like, this tops it. Yeah, no, she's very, I mean, it's weird because, you know what, she is really creative. Like, if you look at the way she dresses a little bit and, like, her hair and her makeup, like, she's she looks like she would be a little bit more funky. Yeah. But she's not. Everything is so monotone. Like everything I'm looking at is tan right. and brown. And I'm like, where is the color? I don't see like a blue, a red, nothing. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think that uh, maybe coal decorated. I don't know. But, you yeah, know, what I would really you expect? See the house. What would you expect Chelsea's house? Like if you just looked at Chelsea and didn't know what her house looked like and you didn't know like anything about her, wouldn't you think that like. She, you know, because she used to, you remember she used to be like Pink and Zebra? Yeah, I remember her old room. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it Pink and Zebra? Yeah, it was Pink and Zebra. That's what my old room was too. (laughs) Yeah, I remember. I remember. Watson is so cute. He's cute. I mean, I don't die for him, but he's cute. He's really cute. Lane is home. She said that it took her two hours for delivery. She has had like all the best deliveries. Right? All the best labors and deliveries. Yeah. She said that Cole pulled her out. How okay, you feel I about couldn't that? stop thinking about it. I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I remembered a little segue here on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Every time Courtney gives birth, they always show it, <laughs> and like she rips the child out of her. Like yes. I've seen her like suction her kids out of her, and I'm like, wow. So he's like Courtney Kardashian. It's so crazy. That's so funny. Um, I remember her first kid when she bent. Yeah. She, she like leaned over and was like, all right, I'm just gonna do this myself. Yeah, that's what she does. It's weird. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, I don't like how she brings up that Cole stop, can't stop crying. Why? Because I feel like it's almost like emasculating him. Not that I have a problem with men crying, but it's almost like she's poking some fun at it. I don't know. He seemed like a little uncomfortable about it. I didn't really love it. Oh, I didn't think so. I thought that she was trying to show everyone how great he was. Oh, I mean, she's always trying to show everyone yeah. how great he is. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it wasn't necessary. But then again, they don't have a story. So maybe right. that's the story they need. Right. She said that she has her hands full with three kids. Yeah, I get it. And they're so close in age. It's like Macy's kids. Yeah, it's the two of them. That's that's what it is. It's mm-hmm. really not Aubrey. Aubrey's like, listen, I'm good. I'm right. 25 years old. Like, I'm good. Aubrey's like, I don't, like, need this anymore. Like, if I could just, like, I think she her room is in the basement. Like, if I could just, like, kind of be down here by myself. <laughs> She's like, can I have my own entrance and exit? I'm yeah, fine. I'm literally fine. Like, you don't have to worry about me anymore. 
Yeah, like, whatever. Just, like, leave me some cereal out, and, like, I'll be on my way. (laughs) She seems really mature, though, no? No, she is really mature. She's a very sweet kid. She doesn't seem like she gives her trouble at all. No, not at all. You remember when she, like, throws super tantrums? Like, I I don't even... She's clearly grown out of that. Uh, So, Chelsea's in the car with, I think, all three kids, right? And the two babies are crying, and she's like, all right, well, let's cry together, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I get it. (laughs) <laughs> so after a while it's like okay what can you do yeah she doesn't care anymore i get it watson has mm-hmm. to get tubes in his ears didn't you get that i got tubes in my ears yeah uh, a lot of kids get tubes in their ears it's like a very very see i got tubes in my ears i got my adenoids out and i got my tonsils out so it was a little bit more intense but just I remember yeah just well, tubes I wasn't in there your... but i remember hearing <laughs> about it you didn't do the surgery uh uh-uh. so weird i wasn't called <laughs> <laughs> so uh she is really upset about it. But again, it's like there's not much of a storyline. So Watson getting tubes in his ears is like the highlight of what's going on here. Yeah. Well, the thing is, when they're talking about Watson getting like tubes in his ears, suddenly like Lane is like not a newborn anymore. Like Cole's holding her. It's just strange right. editing. This whole episode, this whole series, very strange edi- editing. And I've noticed a lot this episode. Oh, absolutely. Also about like even yeah. the first day of school. It's like. The first episode, we're on, we're on season nine, episode six, right? The first episode, right. it was some of the kids' first days of school. And now, last episode, it was Lincoln's first day of school. Yeah. Or, or Isaac's first day of school. And Lincoln's not starting for another week. And it's like, well, when does Lincoln start school in the middle of the semester? Uh-huh. It's very strange. Um, so she, <laughs> Chelsea said that she's not against getting a baby leash for Watson because he's so out of control. Well, you know, when I was younger, I was, like, so against baby leashes, and I thought they were so awful. But, like, if you have that many, like, toddlers, I could totally see getting one. I really could. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, do you remember in 90 Day Fiance, before the 90 Days, Nicole and Azan uh, with May? Yeah. And Nicole had yeah. the baby leash on May. So funny. You know, I mean, I don't want to think that I have the same parent- parenting lookout as, uh, as Nicole? Nicole does. <laughs> right. How but cute I, is me, I though? Get it. I feel like Watson is, like, at that age where he's going to start getting into everything, and Lane is still so little that she has to be very hands-on, so it's, like, sure. it's hard to keep your eyes everywhere. So I could see, though, wanting to get a leash, like, especially when they're both, like, at, like, two, three years of age running around. Oh, man, I can't imagine what it's going to be like. Oh, God. Uh, so she was... They were on their way to the surgery and Chelsea's like, do you have any bad vibes? If we have any bad vibes, we'll just turn around. And it's like, Chelsea, stop. Yeah, I mean, listen, I have bad vibes when I'm going to go fucking grocery shopping. I get bad vibes all the time. They're like, don't go by me. Yeah, well, the surgery went well. (laughs) Cole went in with Watson, and he was the one that was holding him while he had to get put down or whatever. Put down. (laughs) Uh, Oh, my God. He had to get put to sleep, but not like a dog puts to sleep, like a like a baby puts to sleep. Right, he wasn't euthanized, right. (laughs) No, it's not that serious. Oh, my God. So funny. Uh, let's talk about Kale. Um, all right. So she's at Lincoln Soccer Practice, and guess who's there? She's still being petty. Lauren and Javi are there, and uh-huh. there is Kale pretends that... Okay, so real quick story. Uh, the other day I was parking by my house, and parking by my house is pretty bad, right? It's, it's really yeah. hard, and it was alternate side. It was the night before alternate side, and I had found a spot on the correct side of the street, and I was making a U-turn to get into the spot and some lady saw that I was making a U-turn to get into the spot. So she decided that she was going to make a U-turn into the spot as well and try to get it before me. Oh, don't they know not to play that game with you? I am. Uh, first of all, I'm the ultimate Parker. Yes. So she I, I pulled into the spot. Now I'm in the spot, but I also I need to if this makes any sense, I need to pull out and pull next to the car in front of me and then like kind of repark. That's I'm, what I do. Right, because I'm like four feet away from the curb right now. Yeah. And this lady in this very small Mercedes two-seater decides that she's going to block me in so that I can't uh. get out because she feels as though she should have parked in the spot, right? So she's going to try to intimidate me. And it's like, I don't know, this young girl, like not like super young, like, you know, like my age. Uh-huh. And I'm beeping at her like, hey, can you move so I can park the car? And she's right. ignoring me. So I get out of the car because I this is who I am. And I That's knock on the I knock on the window. And I knock on the window and she's looking straight ahead and she will not even look at me. Right? Wow. She will not acknowledge me. 
And she's like smiling, looking ahead like, la, 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 la. Who are you? I don't see anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm a really good parker. I'm going to do this. So inch by inch, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. In about five minutes, I would say five full minutes, I'm in the spot so perfectly. So she decides that she's going to pull back and yell at me. So Ah. she opens her window to yell at me, and I will not even look at her. Oh, <laughs> and I'm looking ahead and I'm like la, 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 singing a song. Uh, that is how I see Kaylin and Lauren. <laughs> I mean, that's actually really funny. It's like, uh, guys, I'm not stop. like that. But stop. Yeah. That was a stranger. I, okay. Stop. Listen, here's the thing. Like, we like Kale. Yeah. You know, and I think that's because like we've met her and We've kind of like hung out with her yeah. a bit. And I just like, as a person, I like her so much. So when I see her do things like this, I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you stressing yourself out? Is this a storyline? Is MTV pushing for her to do this? No, no, they're not. Because I, I'm, this is the way that she is, though. Like, I totally see her being that way. She's petty. Some people are just petty people. And I, I don't know if it's because she feels some type of way about Javi or what, but it's weird. When you say some type of way, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. All right. I don't think that she wants to marry Javi tomorrow and have his kids, but right. I also think that she always had Javi, like, waiting in the wings. Right. So, and maybe like, it hurts Chris, not to? What, maybe, yeah. Maybe, like, when Chris was acting up or something. Like, Javi was always there, always trying to get back with her. I think up until Lauren moved there, you know? Right. So I think that now that Lauren's in the picture, she doesn't have that relationship with Javi anymore, and maybe she's a little butthurt about it. Sure. I get it. Right. Like, you don't want him, but you also just want him to want you. Yeah, of course. What girl doesn't want that? Yeah, you know, that's true. like it's it's so true. I don't know. There are Lauren there... is a weirdo. Lauren freaks me out. Yeah, she's very strange. So she's uh sitting with Javi because of course they need to give Javi his own scene. And uh-huh. she said, Listen, I'm not really worried about it right now because, you know, V and and uh, Kale were on bad terms for a little while and eventually they worked it out but it took a long time so eventually uh, you know me and Kale will be okay and Javi's like yeah I'm not really worried about it because we have like a baby coming so like we have to focus right. on that and right. I just love how uh, Javi's focusing on the baby coming so he can't be nice and he can't and really yeah. he he's the one that could fix this I, he's the one that could fix this I feel like he could break the ice yeah I I don't know if he can fix it. I think that Kale would just like get away from me. Well, you know what? He should at least try, and then at least he could be, you know, in the right. If I would, if I was Lauren, though, I would, I would even message her, email her, text her, do something, and just be like, "Listen, I understand in the past that you know I might have said some not nice things about you, and I'm, you know, I apologize now that you and I are in this position. I spend all this time with your children, and I really just want us to be cordial, and like I hope that one day we could just be on even say hello level, you know, like that's all she has. That's what I would do if I was her. But you know, Kale's focusing on her sister, so she can't be nice to Lauren. Lauren's and Javi are focusing on the baby; they can't be nice to Kale. So it is what it is. so the baby's very active. They they're talking about how the baby's very active, and he's like, "Yeah, because her sexy mama is active." Ew, it's that's so creepy. And then Javi said, "It's this is a quote. It's so sexy watching you work out." No, it's not. No, it's not. There's nothing sexy about watching a pregnant woman work out. Okay, Sorry. but you know what it was? It that's not even true. I I would actually disagure with you. I'm sure there are millions of people that think it is sexy. I just don't believe that Javi meant that genuinely. That was like such well, a forced the thing line. Is, Javi doesn't. Javi doesn't like her. Like, Javi just didn't want to be alone. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, move here and, like, let me get you pregnant. Like, Javi is the ultimate man that wants to spread his sperm everywhere right. that he can. Like, he wants 10 kids with 10 different people. He can't be alone. He has major issues. They have zero chemistry. Yeah. Zero. No, I, that's why it was, like, such an awkward thing to say because it was just, But ugh. you don't think she's, like, a little, like, I feel like she belongs with, like, Leah's man. Like, she, she's there's like, something wrong yeah, with her. Yeah, absolutely. She's, there's something yeah. definitely wrong. But, and, like I said, yeah. that's why I'm not saying, like, her and Kale should be, like, chums. But, like, yeah, you should be able to Agreed. say Hi. Right, like she, hey, how are you? How are you feeling? How's the would baby? That, Great. Would ever treat her right as the way she treats V. Right, because her like, her and V are like really close now. 
Right, and that you know what, and I think that that's great, and obviously I think that was going to take a lot of time, and I get it, because if I had a kid with someone, and I was with him for so long, it would take some adjustment. Like, yeah. I get it, you know, she wanted a family, totally, but I think she realized, like, V is wonderful, and, you know, she's never going to be with Joe, and if Joe could be happy, and Isaac loves her, like, who cares, and she's in it for the long haul. Right, and also, you know, she, doesn't, she doesn't want to be with Joe. No, and I also think that she doesn't think Lauren is in it for the long haul, and that's why she's not trying to be friends with her. Right. But, like, and I think if anyone is around your child all the time, you should be on a friendly level with them. Because what if Javi's not around and, like, Lincoln breaks his arm? Exactly. You know what I mean? And right. then, yeah, you, Kai, you like, everyone should really be working together yeah. at some level somehow. Uh, so she was FaceTiming with her sister, but the boys don't remember her sister. They were very little when they met her sister, she's going to be planning a shower for her. And uh-huh. she had gone to Dallas to meet up with her. Now the shower she's planning is going to be cactus themed. Yeah. That's weird. No, it's not weird. And I want it. I want that shower. No, I know you want that, but I, don't, <laughs> I feel like I don't understand. It's in Texas. How that's a theme, I guess. Why not? It's in Texas. Like, but what are you going to do? Just put like, cactus everywhere you know what i mean like i feel like there's not enough meat to that for me no i think it's like cactus invitations and then like maybe cactus tablecloths and then like a no, cactus cake so lame. you're lame no i'm telling you remy ma and papoose they had a 50s like greaser diner yeah that's theme. too like, much though and also that's something that's i would ever me. like i like that yeah well, i love that okay well that's the lame shower i'll have for you when you have a baby <laughs> <laughs> Now, favorite part of the scene uh-huh. was the end of Kale's segments. She was eating uh, pierogi. Pierogies. Okay. People look for any reason to hate Kale. So in the group, because so we have a group. It's called Tracy's Teen Mom Trash Talk Podcast Discussion. I was thinking about shortening uh-huh. that name. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, okay. it's a little it long. Is very, it's a lot to say. It's a lot. It's a very big mouthful. So... <laughs> People were like, uh, Kale was eating pierogies. Pierogies are gross. No matter, no wonder Isaac didn't want to eat it. Ugh, gross. And it was like, okay, guys. <laughs> First of all, don't talk about pierogi like that. Also, well, do you know that it's pierogi and not pierogies? I know this. And also, people are saying it has to be gross because she wasn't eating it right. Yeah. And I think that no matter how I eat a pierogi is the right way, but I eat them the way she does. I eat them boiled like you. Same. I love a boiled pierogi. I do like some sour cream. Uh, There's this place in the city that I go to, you go to. It's called Veselka. It's in the East Village. And it's a Ukrainian restaurant. And they have uh, pierogi with goat cheese and arugula filling. And then I don't need sour cream. Okay, I need sour cream no matter what pierogi I'm eating, oh, wow. and it blew my mind that she was eating them plain without sour cream, and that was my only gripe about it. Right. Because other than that, I mean, yum, I'll eat pierogies in a bowl, boil nothing on them, just with sour cream, and I am a flavor lover, unlike you. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> Shut up. I want I want pierogi. That's... Yeah, and I, I mean, I love pierogi. She was eating Mrs. T's. They're the best. I and know. I love that people are posting pictures. Like, I don't know what Mrs. T's are. I know. You Guys, know? these are the pierogi. It's like, shut up. I am a pierogi. <laughs> right. I made a pierogi. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Oh, Noel. You know what else I'm made of? Tell me. Good supplements. Tell me about it. I've been using Care Of. Mm-hmm. Care of is a monthly subscription vitamin service that delivers completely personalized vitamin supplement packs right to your door. Ooh, exciting. But how do they know what you need? Ooh, you know what, Noel? You're playing dumb because we both took the quiz. <laughs> uh, so you go to uh, <laughs> you go mm-hmm. to their online quiz and they ask you about your diet, your health goals, your lifestyle choices. It takes five minutes and then you find out your personal scientifically backed vitamin and supplement recommendations. I think that makes life so much easier. It does. Do you know that 90% of people fall short of FDA recommended guidelines for at least one vitamin or nutrient? I totally believe that. Yeah. So the good part about Care Of is a portion of every sale goes towards the Good Plus Foundation, which provides expectant mothers in need with valuable prenatal vitamins. 
Oh, isn't that cool. nice? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, they have vegan and vegetarian supplement options available to match your dietary needs. And I'll tell you this. They have these nutrient pack quick stick powders and they could be added uh-huh. to your monthly delivery for an extra easy boost wherever you need it. I use the gut one. It tastes like a pixie oh. stick. Really? Yes, really. They have an immune one. They have a gut one. They taste like pixie sticks. Oh, and they're already, like a pixie stick. Exciting. It's literally just like a pixie stick. It's so delicious. Yum. So really, really good. Um, but the online quiz is super easy to use. Super, I super remember. easy. It was just asking you questions about your lifestyle. It was. So listen, guys, take advantage of this month's special go for fifty percent off your first month of personalized care of vitamins. Go to takecareof.com and enter trash talk fifty. That's take care of takecareof.com and enter trash talk 50 for 50 percent off your first month of personalized care vitamins and they send them right to your house so it's pretty cool very cool yeah so guys now let's talk about janelle uh you know there was not very much on janelle yeah um but i will tell you i have noticed i barbara really now she's really walking on eggshells like you can tell she's the way she was talking was that she was so afraid to say anything wrong. Yeah, of course. And she's already said stuff wrong. So now, you know, she's really, right. really scared. So it doesn't even matter anymore. Right. Right. So she said um, that it's hard to Janelle said that it's really hard to film without David. Because she can't be without him. Right. Because she is she's Amber. Right. But uh, so Barb said that David's blocking her from filming and they're talking to Kristen, their producer, who's, I don't know, man. I don't know about Kristen. <laughs> Me either. I really, I just don't know about her. I don't trust her. Not at all. Uh, no. She w- uh, wants to know if David is going to let her do the show. Is David going to let her film the show? So right. they do can film, continue filming. And I got to tell you, Janelle looks great. Okay. Janelle looks great. First of all, I think she's always dressed great. She is. Something I've noticed about her, I love, I think she has a really nice style. I love her body. I think she has a great shape. Like, I think she, like, people can say whatever they want, but she has definitely gotten progressively better looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. And she she really does. She has great style. I love her dark hair. I think she has a wonderful body. Like, yeah. She does look good. Yeah, I, I think she like she usually she... has like a little leather crop jacket on. Like she looks cute. She always looks cute. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, no matter what the scene is, she is just never happy. No, she's a miserable like, person. Like, I, she needs to be tickled. I can't tell you, right, I can't tell you the last time I just saw her smile. Yeah, I totally agree with the you. The last time I saw her smile when she was, like, making up that story yes, about David when and she pretend was laughing. Scary, pretend <laughs> laughing. Yeah. So she signed up Kaiser for f- flag football, and she signed up, uh, Jay- well, t- no one really, sh- Barb signed up Jace for soccer. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you signed up Jace for soccer. Yeah. Right. But now, <laughs> okay, just take a moment to picture Kaiser playing flag football. Is that the cutest thing oh, you've ever God, seen? Oh, my God, I know. I know he's rolling around. So rolling. cute. <laughs> so I love cute. Him. So Janelle's like, I want some fucking respect. And she just starts okay. cursing like crazy. But where did she get that from? David. It mm-hmm. was like she was channeling David. She's like, listen, I don't need MTV. I have other things I'm working on. What? Right. Oh, like, yeah. Like she had said that she was working like on something with Netflix and it turned out to be bullshit. Yeah. She was working on something with Netflix. It's called, uh, what is it? Uh, Nine ninety nine a month. <laughs> I'm working. I'm working on the same deal right now. She um, she is very paranoid. Mm-hmm. Um, she doesn't seem like she says like she doesn't trust anyone. But like the thing that she says makes me laugh because she says like things that like normal people do. She's <laughs> like, I don't trust anyone, and then until they could prove that I could trust them, and then I'll trust them again. And it's like, right? Isn't that like what everyone does? Well, like, she said that she doesn't. She doesn't uh, talk to anyone uh, anymore. She doesn't talk to Tori, for example, and she doesn't talk well, to I mean, Nathan. Who would talk to Tori? Right, but also she doesn't talk to Nathan. But you know what? I understand that she doesn't talk to Nathan, but she didn't. Didn't seem angry at him when she dropped off Kaiser the other day. She didn't seem angry at him. She doesn't talk to Nathan also because she's not allowed to. She's not allowed she's to. She's not allowed to talk to anybody. She's isolated from everyone. Well, she's isolated from everyone because they don't even know their fa- her favorite food. I, okay, but also, why is she crying? Because they don't know her favorite food. Do you think that her favorite food is pierogi and that they threw Kale's scene in just to give her a little dig? Uh, it mu- you know what? It must be that. <laughs> 
They were like, oh, yeah? Is your favorite food, uh, I don't know, Janelle, frozen yogurt? Yeah. Oh, I mean, that might be my favorite food. So, like, I can't even throw stones about that. Is it pierogi? Uh, pierogi flavored frozen yogurt. I didn't kill two birds with one stone. Frozen mashed potato with dough on top? Oh, um, yum. Delish. Uh, she said that, uh, did she say this is going to be my last season? She said, and this is a quote, I don't need MTV. Okay, well, you know what? You know who else says it every season? Amber. <laughs> you know who and else says it every season? you know still filming? <laughs> Amber. Right, Janelle. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. You know, she might not need MTV, but you know what she does need? What? Drops. Drops. Oh, tell me. So I've been using Drops. Drops delivers powerful, eco-friendly cleaning products directly to your door. From laundry detergent pods to dishwasher detergent pods, they've got you covered. Oh, okay. Awesome. So I've been using Drops. Uh, I've been using their dishwasher detergent tabs, which are amazing okay. because they don't leave okay. any spots on your dishes, which is a true story. I've been using... Okay. Because I have spots on my glasses. Yeah, of course you do, because you're using the stuff that I gave you. <laughs> yeah. The stuff yeah, that I, I didn't mean, want when I got drops. <laughs> that's just your story. You're using my old <laughs> stuff. So they have sensitive skin detergent pods, stain and odor detergent pods, which I also use. It's really nice because I have to carry my laundry down to my laundry room, and I don't have right. to carry a whole bottle. I just carry a pod down. I just throw it in the bag. You know what? I have to carry my laundry down, too. That actually is oh, sounds amazing, because I, I carry like a gallon of yeah, you know, that's crazy. whatever it is I use and it's like i break my arm doing it no you shouldn't break your arm you should get some drops listen drops products are packaged in the most sustainable way their plastic free compostable boxes double as the shipping container oh and not only that they are you're gonna love this part cruelty free they're never tested of on animals I love that. Yeah, and they're manufactured in the USA and they offer effective green cleaning products manufactured right here in our own backyard I mean, That's I don't know. Amazing. Listen, honestly, I don't know if they're in my backyard. I'm just saying uh-huh. they might, you know, maybe in their backyard. I'm not really sure. Maybe in Janelle's backyard. <laughs> maybe on the <laughs> land. Just uh-huh. saying. Um, so you could visit drops.com slash teen mom. That's drops.com. Then that's D R O P P S dot com slash teen mom and enter teen mom to get an extra 30% off your first order of convenient, plastic free, eco friendly cleaning. Because you know why? Why? Every drop counts. Oh, cute. You're cute. <laughs> no, you're cute. Huh? Let's talk about Brianna, who's not cute. <laughs> oh, speaking of uncute, yeah. let's talk about Brianna. Stella um, Stella had surgery on her arm for an infection. How do you get a bacterial infection in your shoulder? I don't want to know, but I want to know. Oh, my God. Sorry. I just Bless you. Thank you. That's Okay. okay. So I don't know either, but they said that it's called septic arthritis. Oh, I know. Oh, I heard it. Trust me, because I couldn't stop thinking about it. I felt like I was going to faint thinking about it. So I, mean, I feel like I'm going to faint right now thinking about she it. She said it's really hard because Brittany's on vacation and her and her mom are taking care of the kids by themselves. How many right. people like, usually take care of two kids? Right. Here's the thing. Like, usually, okay, for, usually it's two parents, but, like, honestly, it, it's most of the time one parent taking care of a kid. Like, Right, but, no I mean, the fact that you have two. right, you're going to home 24-7. Sure, so right. now you have three. Now you're down one, so that means you have two. That's one per kid. And, listen, I'm not saying it's easy to have a kid in the hospital, but no. it was just like, you know, they were almost, like, shaming Brittany. They're like, Brittany, how could you leave? Like, we, you have a job to do. Also, it's, it's way too expected of them. Also, you know what? They have Devoine. Uh, so, uh-huh. uh huh. Roxanne's in the van. The van that's full of garbage. The van of my nightmares. Um, why is Nova in that car seat? Is what I want to know more. When was that drink? The the fast food drink. When was that purchased? <laughs> when was that purchased? Oh, God, it was just, that was like my car when I was like 18 working in a restaurant and had to like change on my way to work. Oh, my God, your car was disgusting. Right, but that's what it is. Like, (laughs) I'm not a grown-up with a car looking like that. No. So, Nova's sad that Brianna's gone because she's been in the hospital every single night with Stella, but she should be used to it. Brianna went. Why? Okay, I'm going to tell you why. Brianna first went to New York City to hang out with DJ Chicken Man. 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> she then went uh, cabining with DJ Chicken Man. Oh, that's right. She also went away to get her ass filled with cement. Oh, yeah. And also, when Nova was born, she moved out into one of Devoin's, Devoin's friend's houses and left her kid with <laughs> Roxanne. That's right. Right. So it's like, Nova, pull it together. <laughs> Seriously. At this point, oh, it's your fault. She's a good kid, too. No, she's I think super she's good. a really good little girl. I feel bad for her, uh, but she should be used to it. Uh, so, now. Yeah. I hate DJ Trucker Lou. Okay. He's awful. He is awful. the worst. Now, let's just bring it back real quick to when oh, she I found out she was pregnant. Uh huh. She wasn't allowed to give the baby up for adoption. Because he wanted to be so in the baby's life. And then what happened? He is the opposite of in the baby's life. Okay. Because... He's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, he left Florida because he said that he was going to be a trucker, right? And he was right. always going to be on the road, but but he was going to be providing a ton of money for her because of the trucking. Uh huh. In real life, there is no trucking anymore. He quit trucking. Uh huh. And he is DJing because clearly he is a bum DJ. He's a bum DJ because clearly, how would you DJ anywhere in Miami? Because there's nothing there right. to do. No, there's no places in Miami. To He's DJ. constantly DJing uh, up here. In New York, but like uptown, like like in the Bronx and uh, yeah. in Washington Heights, he is yep. such a scumbag. So she texted Lewis saying, you know, Stella has to have emergency surgery. She has septic arthritis. And Lewis said, all right, well, let me know how she's doing. Mm -hmm. I listen, we talk shit about my mom and stuff, but I truly believe my mother would have been there on the next plane. This is you know, really like, this is really bad. So that's not normal. Brianna's alone in the hospital, and you know what? DJ Trucker Lou should one hundred percent be there. Um, mm -hmm. Now let's go back to Nova. She's doing her homework, and one of the questions is, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" And she wants to be a rabbit when she grows up. I mean, I, don't blame I get her. it. You know who else wanted to be a rabbit? Joey Fatone, because he was the rabbit on the mess thing. I day. know, guys. I know. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't tell me. I can't, I mean, it's true. Oh, my God. Um, so Nova can't go to Devon's place alone? She's never been there before. Yeah, but that's her dad. Yeah, but she's never been there before. I get it. You kind of want to like check out the situation and make sure you're not sending her to a crack house. She's little yeah. and she's also very shy. She is very shy. She's very introverted. Yeah. So I think that the next mm -hmm. time she went, she would be allowed to go alone. Definitely. You know what? they? You know what, though? I, for real, as much as like we talk shit, they're very lucky for Roxanne. They're super lucky for Roxanne because, you know, yeah. what? She she's super nice to him, too. Um, so we went to Devon. She was so nice to him. Yeah. And then, so she went to yeah. Devoin. She went to Devoin's, his new, uh, uh -huh. his new pad. And, you know, uh -huh. he played some video games with Nova and she seems to, it seems fine. It looks clean. It looks normal. His, his looks very clean. It looked like a man place. It was very empty, but like, okay. They just moved. I like, I like that couch. I'm into it because it's like very like Henry the Eighth style. Right. And like, I like that for like a den, but like, I don't understand the placement. Okay, so I think they just moved in. I think they're trying okay. to push the couches as close to the TV so they could play video games. I think okay, that well, it, that makes sense. I think that was like someone's extra couches that they gave them because remember, like they really didn't live alone before. Like it's not like they had both had households that they were coming from. You know what? That's true because when my old roommate, when Olivia moved out and she moved into her own place, I gave her couches. Yeah, I gave her that's what happened. She didn't have anything. Yeah, exactly. Now Devoin. Even mm -hmm. Devoin was upset about DJ Lou. Yeah, I like Devoin. I do I too. think that he has really come a long way since 16 and pregnant. I know. And he was like, "How did she tell Lewis? And she's like, yeah, he hasn't said much. And he's like, oh, man. Not yeah, good. he's wonderful. He is wonderful. I love his style. I just like him so much. Yeah, he's I think a he's little fun. wacky, but I like him. I think he's a young kid and he's, he's fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. So before we, we continue with this podcast, uh, I just want to okay. remind you guys, if you're listening, it means you love us, right? Right. I hope so. So please go to iTunes. Give us a five-star rating. Give us an amazing review. Remember that you could also join the Patreon. And on our Patreon, we have a secret podcast. We have an 
extra bonus podcast where we answer yeah. fan questions. You learn a little bit about us, the host. Uh, we have now 42 episodes of that. And it's so much fun. So you could join the Patreon. You could also join uh, when you join the Patreon, you could join our secret Facebook group, which does not have so many people in it, which is really fun because we get to get a little bit more personal. We go off topic a little bit more. It's like very, very cool. Lots of great yeah. people in there. Uh, you can also purchase stickers. You can purchase buttons. We have stickers on sale for $3. We have buttons on sale for $4. If you join the $5 Patreon, you do get a free sticker. Uh, if you're interested in stickers or buttons, you could Venmo me at Tracy uh, Carnazzo, T-R-A-C-E-Y dash Carnazzo, C-A-R-N-A-Z-Z-O. And if you have any questions about that, you could message me. You could find me on social media at Trixie Tuzini, T-R-I-X-I-E, T-U-Z-Z-O. I and I on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Noel, where can we find you? You can find me Noe underscore bear eight ten on Instagram, or you can follow Full Belly Catering, or you can follow me at Noe Girl on Twitter. And if you want to follow our Snapchat, I'm always on it. I'm always playing around with it. You can message me. You can send me things. It's TM Trash Talk. Cool. If you want to follow us on Instagram, it's Teen Mom Trash Talk, and on Twitter, it's Teen Mom podcast so you could definitely keep up with that stuff if you are interested in coming to see my stand-up comedy you can go to tracycarnazzo.com and you could check out my upcoming tour dates uh something really cool coming up on march 9th i will be at the yonkers comedy club opening for comedian rich voss uh 7 30 cool yeah you? thank you so much 7 30 and 9 45 shows that day also i have a monthly show at QED in Astoria, Queens, New York. It is called Hashtag Comedy, and that's every fourth Saturday of the month at 9 o'clock. Very cool. Speaking of having nothing going on in our lives, let's talk about Leah. Uh, uh, okay. Leah is still cutting up carpet and dealing with the flood. Oh my god, I can't. Jeremy's back, and Addie has missed him. Jeremy just doesn't seem interested. You Jeremy's I mean? not. Jeremy's like, why am I babysitting? Right. He's just not interested. Why am I babysitting this stranger child? He has no connection with her, and she's, like, the cutest thing. All she wants is him, too. Yep. All she wants is him in a little Walmart. Yep. He's like, what are you doing? She's like, I "I lost my folder. And he's like, what are you doing now? And she's like, I'm reading the news. She was reading the uh, the Century 21 listings for real estate. I love her. And he was, like, annoyed with her. I know. He didn't seem, like, interested. He didn't seem, like into it like he was like okay okay like like she was being annoying yeah she was being a kid well you know what we found out uh which explains so much jeremy's mom cuts his hair okay and the name of her place is scissors yeah (laughs) yeah it is come on i mean that was like really original (laughs) (laughs) it was really telling yeah it's like oh okay well this makes so much sense he also got uh pretty fat in the face well, you know what? That's really the least of his problems. Addie's sight yeah, word. Yeah, no, I know. I, I'm not body shaming you, Darby. <laughs> don't, don't body shame, Jeremy. <laughs> Addie's sight word is, is. Now, here's the thing. I don't have kids. You don't have kids. I'm assuming the sight word is like a word that you work on per week or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I wasn't sure. And it's is. And she's like, it's whiz. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. He's like, do you think maybe it's is and not whiz? Uh, they get to I- They get to return to Walmart, though. I know. Ooh, I like envied her for a second there. I know. So now uh, she's at Jeremy's mom's hair salons. She's at Scissors, right? Leah's hanging at uh, right. Addie's hanging at Scissors, and uh-huh. Jeremy's mom keeps calling her sis. Yeah, I don't know. And somebody said uh, that it's like a southern thing. I guess. And she was leaving, and she's like, "By the way," as she walks out, she's like, "My name ain't sis." Yeah, which which made me love her because she's so sassy. But yeah, I don't know. She just keeps saying sis. And people are like, oh, it's a southern thing. But also, like in my mind, like West Virginia is not. Then West Virginia is not. The oh south. my god, are know, you insane? Thing. No, no, no. West Virginia is like hillbilly, crazy central. Like you and I have been there a million times. You dated someone from there. I remember. But like, I just feel like logically it's not the south when yeah but logically logically kentucky is not the south either but you know what i'm saying it is right L- logically chicago is not the midwest how is that the midwest it's really the mid east if you really want to talk about that right 
Just saying. So now Addie's in the car and she's saying, listen, I was in school. My teacher said, who works pipes? And I was like, hey, over here, my dad does. And the <laughs> funny thing about that, Addie, your dad might work pipes, but guess who else does? Your mom. Ooh. Speaking of Leah working the pipes, Jason and her are watch- wearing matching T-shirts. Speaking of her working the pipes with her gigantic man hands, has anybody noticed? I've always what noticed her that. hands look like. Yeah, I absolutely. I have very, I have very long fingers. Like when I look at pictures of myself, I notice like my hands look like skeleton hands. Like I have like Skeletor really? hands. It's very annoying. I don't think yeah, so. I don't know. It's just something I noticed in pictures, not in life. Who's si- or someone photographing your hands a lot? But her, I, I'm telling you, it's just something I noticed, like, in, like, when I was taking pictures of, like, my engagement ring and stuff. Oh, okay. But, like, her, she has man hands. Like, it freaked me out. She has, like, Frankenstein hands. Yeah. No, I get that. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> so the ring, Jason. He has the worst haircut in the whole world. He has his the line for his part. Like, I think Jeremy's mom must have cut his hair, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, he has the douchebag haircut. He does. What man do you know? That is it a douchebag that has that haircut? It's not a thing. I don't know, but he has a lot of opinions about Jeremy not seeing Addie, and really, didn't yeah. he? Didn't he leave who his kids? The, oh, like who the fuck are you? He's like low key dogging Jeremy I know. out, and you know what he's doing? He's brainwashing Leah. Yes, That's he what is. He's, doing. he's like grooming Leah. Yes, he is. Now they have matching T-shirts on that say Herbalacia. Uh, and I did a little research on it, and it's a new quote unquote clothing brand, and they're from Queens, New York. And oh. they move to West Virginia and they see a lot of similarities between Queens, New York, which apparently is urban, and then West Virginia, oh. which is Appalachia. And they've started this new clothing brand called Herbalacia. Guys, shout out to Herbalacia uh, for being very strange. But maybe maybe, yeah. maybe they want to send us some Weird. merch. Who knows? I mean, listen, I'll, I'll always take merch, so. Noelle, let's talk about what's going on in real life, in real time, in Teen Mom. Let's talk about the gossip. Cadence- okay, well, one thing, something I came across real quick that you and I didn't talk about. Yeah. Um, Jade and Sean broke up. Yeah, apparently, they did. Apparently for good. I don't know if that's real or not, but, like, someone was asking her on Twitter, like, will you and him get back together? And she's like, LOL, no. And it's yeah. like, we'll see what okay, happens. but that's, yeah. So what, what now? What were you gonna say? Now who's who's arrived? Kate and Tyler had a baby, and they named uh. her Veda uh. Luma. Uh. Veda Luma. That was. They just took words like that, like sounded okay together, and like put them together. Like somebody said on Twitter that they had Nova write down her favorite letters. Yeah. And that's how they came up with the probably. Baby's name. Probably it was a Scrabble uh-huh. board. Uh, someone else uh-huh. said that Luma is a name of a cartoon character uh, in like some in, in one of the newer ca- uh, cartoons. Corey oh. uh, of Corey and Cheyenne has a new girlfriend. Noelle, you know the scoop about that. Why don't you tell us what's going on there? Oh, um, his new girlfriend is Taylor. Okay. Um, so he got back together. She is from season one of X on the Beach. Taylor Selfridge. Okay. And who's X? So was she, she, do you know? So, uh, uh, she was ex. She was like this other guy's ex, and she was like notorious for like making his life like hell, like going after any girl that he would talk to. Like apparently, she was like a real terror. Okay. Um. So he. So Corey said that Cheyenne is a great person, a fabulous mother, and I'll always have some love for Cheyenne. But I'm not in love with Cheyenne. Um, I have to do what I have to do, and Taylor is the person to make me happy. I'm sorry to disappoint some of you, but y'all want to see me happy and support me no matter what. So I guess he has moved on, and they are in Mexico together right now. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ryder is whatever. sick. They're in, yeah, they're in Mexico. Ryder is sick. She's in the hospital with the flu. She has like 103 fever. That's terrible. Um, so Ryder's sick and a lot of people are dogging Corey for being in Mexico, but apparently he got right. He tweeted that he got on this first flight, uh, as soon as he saw that she was getting worse and he came back from his vacation. So, yeah, I mean, like, I get it. I don't, I wouldn't call him a bad dad. You know, she's sick. It's like, you don't realize how serious it is. Sure. Now, you know, what kid doesn't get sick? Oh, of course. Of course. Uh, mm-hmm. Amber, uh, announced that she will be filming next season. Shocking. I mean, let me ask you a question. Are you surprised? Yes. 
Somebody asked her, will you still be filming? She said, I am through and through. Yeah, okay. I've been with the franchise for 10 years, such a long time, and I don't want to see the show go down like that. I want to amp it up. And it's like, you don't want to, what do you think it's going to go down if you're on? I wish, I pray every night that she's not on anymore. Yeah, she's <laughs> annoying. Uh, speaking of annoying, Janelle and David last week, uh, they apparently split up. They had separated. Janelle posted a picture of herself on Facebook with the caption, single AF. Now, as of right now, they are back together, and she's saying that just because she posted whatever does not mean they're not together. I just, I don't get it. I mean, whatever. You know, at this point, people take what she says, like, with a grain of salt. Well, David has a problem with MTV right now because he said that uh, MTV committed a hate crime. Noel, do you want to tell us more about that? So his, so here is his quote. Just like these assholes from MTV who said I made homophobic comments. No, that's just what you call it to make it seem like I did something horrible. So he's saying that MTV has uh, the producers called what he wrote homophobic. Therefore, it's a hate crime because. He said that just because he compared gay and transgender people to dogs with fleas, that he didn't mean it in a homophobic way. So, uh, so by them calling him homophobic, they're actually homophobic. So it's it's uh, a hate crime against homophobic people. Uh, okay, I don't, right. I don't get it. Well, as long as it makes sense, you know what I mean. Noel, this has been a really fun podcast. Do you have anything else that you want to add? Um, besides that I love you so much. Oh my God, I love you too. Guys, we love you as listeners. Make sure that you're following us, that you're subscribing to the podcast. You know the rest. You've heard it before. Thank you so much for listening. Bye. Bye.